Hey, I'm Dan from Hearts and Plugs, and I'm here with Wolfgang and Steven from Brave Baby. Uh, we're here to talk to you about the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre, which we received from Performer Magazine and Focusrite. Uh, they gave us the opportunity to check things out. You guys want to talk a little bit about what you found? Like, we did some drums. Yeah. Well, first thing I noticed out the gate, I, I've had a Digio 3 for the past couple years, and this thing was clean and didn't need to do a whole lot of EQing and uh, just stock plugins with it. Sounded great. Yeah, no, no outboard gear, just everything straight in, bass straight in, key straight in, uh, standard drum miking, and, but no. Not a lot of compression on the plugins. And it just felt like, oh, this is a professional tool. It's sturdy. It's very sturdy. It looks mm. great. I mean, it looks like something you'd put in your studio and be like, hey, check that out, you know? Um, some features just on the front end of the interface. I really liked the metering. That's something I feel like most interfaces don't have. So it's great to just like, you've got eight pre's off across the front and you can see what's coming in on the interface side on the analog side before it gets into your program because sometimes um, that can be really tricky like chasing down like okay where am I clipping like it's really clear with the uh, metering there um, also the volume the outputs uh, seem to be pretty solid and hot as far as like doing the monitoring goes um, I like that I love the mute switch and the dim I feel like dims not usually on an interface um, and then of course the air feature, being able to flip that on it seemed to just give it more of this analog quality. Um, everything was very detailed, I thought, just coming right in on the interface without having to do a whole lot of work to make it sound, you know, like the instrument it actually is. It just it sounded like that coming in. <laughs> So what about? The only remote downside is that all of our computers were pretty out of date, and we had to. That was on us, though. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why yeah, we didn't so, use that many plugins. So if you're if you're wanting to get into, I think it's probably particularly Thunderbolt side. You know, some of these USB interfaces maybe don't have this issue, but you know, Thunderbolt, you got to have a computer that has Thunderbolt. So you know, that's probably I don't know, maybe three past three four years at least. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that, you know, probably knocks some people out of being able to jump on board with it uh, if they don't have a computer with a Thunderbolt, and then also just the operating systems that support Thunderbolt. But the upside of the latency just kind of can't be beat. Yeah. You want to get yourself up to that different kind of level. If you're doing any, I think, really serious recording, tracking, you know, eight plus inputs at a time, heavy plugins, it's it's just like why why would you want to put yourself through, you know, USB when there's Thunderbolt option out there? It just takes a lot of your worries mm -hmm. uh, out of the equation. Really appreciative for Performer Mag and Focusrite for giving us the opportunity to check this out. Uh, the, the Focusrite Claret Apri. Uh, we're really looking forward to using it in the studio over the coming years here. We're going to hang it right next to our medals back here. Wait, that one up.